Hello everyone and welcome to Shivers Harvest of Souls. This is a Sierra game that I played as a team. Uh, it's an adventure puzzle game. Kind of like the last one I uploaded, uh, Seven Guests Only. This one has a little more of an interesting story. If I remember correctly, at least. So, let's jump in. Can I... Okay, yeah. Uh... Hello? Oh, I type? How did you get here? Did you ride that dirt bike up over the rock slide? Well, that thing's got nobody coming in or out for days. You got a name? Yeah, we've got a reservation under your name. I'm half surprised you decided to show up. Cyclones turned into quite a dangerous town. People disappearing right and left. I have your friends. Only the warrior can free them. Do I know about some band? There's no band around here. If you mean that part-time help that Pearl has working over at the cafe, they took off yesterday. Yeah, they stole her truck and left it at the mouth of the canyon before they took off. If you're a friend of theirs, I don't want you around here. You can just turn around and go back to where you came from. Well... I still don't trust you, but I'm not cruel. You can have room five. And that'll be 3750. Up front. We got here our inventory bar. Cash. No credit. There. There's your chain. I want you gone first thing in the morning. I don't want any trouble. What a nice guy. So we had a drink. 
I never would have bet my own money if I wasn't in total control that night. Mm, that may be, but you are a sinner. The Lord ordained that money to go to the church. Yeah. At least we don't have to worry about the police. At least we don't have to worry about the police. Yeah. The money to care of that. Hey, are you guys going to play or what? Some trippy dream, yeah. some hints at the story. Yeah, basically, we can. Look at everything. You can scroll through the entire thing. I'm gonna take a setting, uh, a second to t to set the options. So I'll pause the video. There, I set the game volume. A little lower. It should help. An answering machine here. Oh, a radio. Sorry. Keep those air conditioners turned up. It's going to be hot. Tomorrow should reach a high of 112. That's hot. Nights will be hot with temperatures in the mid 90s. The long-term forecast shows more heat, but no relief in sight. And those this is Mac Farley, and this is Talk Radio 106.6. Our topic today is bad vacations, and now we got Bob on the line now. Bob, what's your story? Well, Mac, after seeing the Grand Canyon, I wanted to see some more canyons. A ranger told me about this town that was in a canyon, um, Cyclone, I think. Well, after driving on gravel roads for 40 miles, the road dead ended at a landslide. And then I ran out of gas while driving around. It was over 100 degrees, and I thought I was going to die until someone gave me a lift. Yeah. Okay. So the place we're at now is not the best vacation de destination. We got... To listen to your messages, press 1. Hi, it's me. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't get my other message. Call me at 555-6331. We're at Mike's Aunt Pearl's house. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. I I have to start writing things down in this game. To replay this message, press 4. Because I don't have a in-game. Oh, shit. What did it say to listen again? To listen to your messages, press 1. Hi, it's me. So, if you're listening to this, that means you didn't get my other message. Pearl? Call me at 555-6331. Five, 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 We're at five, Mike's five, Aunt Pearl's house. 6331. 1918. One, to save this message, eight, press 9. Three. To replay this message, press 4. To okay. delete this message, press 7. Mm. Ah, we don't need it anymore. Actually, let's leave it in. To listen to your messages, press... Hi, Wait. it's me. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't get my other message. Call me at 555-6331. We're at Mike's Aunt Pearl's house. 1-9-18-8-3. To save this message, press 9. To replay this message, press message saved. Yeah, let's just save it. He's got us.
VHS player Griffin There's nothing here Okay, what about the suitcase? Don't have the key. It's my suit. Oh, wait. So, yeah, we got here August 21. Or at least. Yeah, and these are our friends who came to this town. Band called Trip Cyclone. And yeah, I came later, I guess. It's them again. Hi, having a great time. Wish you were here. This is our last stop before Cyclone. The van's radiator boiled over outside of Denver, but Dave managed to fix things again. This place is in the middle of nowhere, but Mike says it's not as nowhere as Cyclone. Well, write again when we get there. 191883. Uh, w. Wait, let me just check. F G H I J K L M N. Yeah, so I think this is Wendy. Uh, but we will we will see about that later. So that's the same the same one that I wrote down. They write in. They have their own code, kind of. Speedo, speedy photo. Okay. Hi. Wow. Is this town ever living in the dark ages? They have no cable TV, so no rock TV. Bummer. But it's not just the TV. I feel like the cars need bumper stickers that say, Welcome to Cyclone. Turn your mind back 40 years. Mike says another dimension is more like it. Looks cool though, with red canyons framing the town. It will be a great place to make our music video for the Rock TV contest, if we can earn enough money. It's a good thing you stayed home to work. The cafe doesn't have enough work for all five of us, and Dave is the only one to get another job. He subs for a guy named Richard at the gas station. Lyle tried to get a job at the church, if you can believe that. Doubles as a bingo hall and theater during the week. But they only hire family. Lyle jokingly said that he'd marry their daughter, Teresa, but her dad acted like Lyle was the devil or something. Olivia is painting a mural on the outside of the cafe. Right before we came, a jeep was found abandoned at the entrance to Devil's Mount, the local canyon that's supposed to be cursed. It belonged to this couple that has been staying at the motel. Charles Spencer, who owns the motel, didn't want to get stuck with the bill, so he organized a search of the canyon. During the search, someone from the town disappeared too. So now there are three missing persons. Cyclone is full of suspicious looking people. I just know one of them is responsible. They're also paranoid. I'm writing a song about it right now. When we find out some more, we'll put clues in the rock video. Kind of like before, only better. How does that sound? Rock band, Trip Cyclone, solves murder case while making their premiere rock video. Too bad this place is so secluded from the rest of the world. Will anyone notice? We'll write later. Yeah, Wendy, probably. Yeah, D, E, Y, yeah, W, X, Y, yeah, that's Wendy.
So how many... How many letters are we skipping here? Uh, four. So... It's the actual position of the letter in the alphabet plus four. And anything over 26 goes back to... Yeah. Right. Got anything else here? Got a bathroom. Wow. It's a... Uh, weird. Okay. So... My bike. Yeah, that's the, my room. Let's get to the office. Remember, we need this chewing gum. We got the eye here to. Inspect. Mm, I know, I remember what's happening there, so I'll wait a little bit. Yeah, so Ivan Spencer, the barber, is missing. Yeah. Let's have a look around. Cyclone was built on top of the silver mines that supported the town for so many years. One of the mine's tunnels is an ancient Indian burial site. This spot to find buried with the bodies is decorated by, with the stairway to heaven motif, repeated in much of the pottery found there. The ancient's view of heaven referred to rain clouds, not the afterlife. They believed that after death, the spirit returns to the third world or underworld. Okay. Yeah, but we don't have. How much do we have? That's not enough. It's 25, right? I mean, it was 375. No, it was... No, this is two and a half. Well... Let's look around more. Can I save? Yep. So, got something here. Dear Stuart, sorry, I don't know your last name. Last night, my nephews and their friends said that they were going to your motel room to look for Olivia. I haven't heard from any of them since. Yesterday, I saw them with you over by the old dance hall. All of you were talking to someone wearing a kachina type mask. Who was he? He wasn't an Indian. They only used the mask for ceremonies and dances. If you know something, please call me. Pearl 5556321. Yeah. Anything down here? Wait, there's a... Insurance company? Dear Charles, I am sorry to inform you that of August 1st, Empire Insurance is cancelling your policy. Due to the large settlement awarded Max Wharton two years ago and the fire claim you filed on CS Appliance, Empire has deemed you uninsurable. Because of your record, any new insurance company will probably triple your rates. However, if I were you, I'd get a lawyer. 
I have written to Empire about my suspicions regarding the fire at your store. In the past, they have repeatedly refused to send an investigator to the town of Cyclone, but I'm prepared to reveal certain facts and a possible witness that might change their minds. Frank Talbot. P.S. Sorry, Charles, but the fact didn't add up. The facts didn't add up. Alright. We puzzle that together later. That means we got a Bible. Every man's work will be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. There was quite a bit revealed by fire, plus a certain matchbook, drenched in gasoline carelessly, propped at the scene of the crime. I hope you received a good insurance settlement. You'll be needing it if you don't want everyone to know what sort of work you do in your spare time. Huh. So he's getting blackmailed and he's set a fire. He also has stuff from the barber shop here. We got like a Thing, peace. Yeah, no. He has a separate answering machine. How does that work again? You have no new messages. In the old ones? Hey, son. You'll never believe who I just heard from. Max. He just called to tell me that he had a barber chair. Did you ever mention to him that my barber chair was broken? By the way, what do you know about those two ladies that are staying at your motel? Think you're gonna introduce me? To replay this message, press the blue button. To resave this message, press the red button. Message saved. Okay, so this guy is actually the son of this Ivan Spencer. That's what we figured out. Um, this is Andy at the police station. Look, Charles, as usual, the outside authorities won't even consider looking into your dad's disappearance. This time, I don't blame them. <laughs> and those footprints? They could have been yours. Ivan is a healthy 68-year-old man and could have run off with anyone. Maybe he left town with those two senior ladies from Phoenix. <laughs> I saw him peeking over his menu with them the other day at the cafe. And <laughs> By the way, you're late with your payment this month. To replay this message, press the blue button. Message saved. So it's actually the guy at the police blackmailing him, possibly. Charles, this is George. Babs is missing. You know I can't write Sunday's sermon without her. Have you seen her with that sinner in room six? I've seen him lusting after the females. He'll feel the Lord's wrath if I find out he even touched her. To replay this message, message saved. End that is of messages. That voice. That's amazing. He really sounds like the stereotype of a of a preacher. Hey son, you'll never believe who I just heard from. Max. He just called to tell me. Hey son. Message saved. Yeah, we've heard this. Okay. I think we got uh most things here he got the TV but yeah I do remember something weird is up with the TV I will just save and show that uh, yeah let's turn it on
Please, don't be like the others. Devil's Mouth will kill you. That place is cursed. The TV is cursed. Go back to the motel. Get the Bajos. Yeah, so the band left clues for us on the TV, but there's something wrong. Basically what happens is, I think this is the only chance we get, but the TV hypnotizes you to go into the, the canyon of the town. And we will see what is up with that later. Okay, so we got some kind of antagonist in this town who's making you do some stuff. This Bajos actually has magical properties. When you're wielding it, it slowly starts draining your life force here. canyon we are here so we follow the road past the cemetery yeah okay let's try to make this fast uh, can I go to the street the canyon you must yeah. take the Bajos to Devil's Mouth Canyon okay I will um, it's the other way right yeah uh, there, 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 that's it. The Kiva, it's in the canyon. But watch out. Before you go there, you must find the petroglyph that will awaken the power of the Bajos. Find the petroglyph, the one Oh shit, the what symbol. was the symbol? That was on the... Is it on the Bajos? I don't think so. It was next to the... Crap, let's go back. Go back. It's better to die as yeah, a but warrior than I to don't die remember slowly. the symbol. The Bajos will steal your life essence until you awaken its power. I know, Find but I need to I need the, the symbol, lady. The symbol. Ghost appearance, lady. I need the symbol. Uh Wait, where where was uh God damn it Where we're at the sheriff Oh shit we're There is a trailer Oh we are here Shit 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 Get back Okay Uh there 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 yeah, that's it's here, right? Yeah. Let's go. It's this this symbol. Right. Let's go. So these symbols are on, on the cave walls, 
Like there are different ones. And these things also attack us, I think. We need to look for the right one. Yeah. They attack us. Fuck. We need to find the right symbol. Crap. Oh, here it is. And then it's basically tangram style puzzle. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm doing it right. can we do to make this right I think this is this looks right hold on yeah 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 we got it What? Now I have to do it again? Yeah, I'll pause the video for that. Yeah, I thought I had to click the thing, but apparently not. So this is the some kind of s sanctuary where we have to place the bows. Okay. And uh, these are my friends. They are basically well drawings on a wall. I guess their souls are trapped or something. There. And then you recover life force. And well, this that's the premise of the game, kind of. You need we need to find all these sticks every time, find the right symbol, put them in here. Uh, but it's a lot harder to obtain the other ones because you need to solve puzzles for that. Meanwhile, you listen to answering machines, find letters, find out more about the shady business of all the people of this town, and find out what the main story is about and how that also ties into the dream that we had so yeah I think it's a good time to end the first episode here thank you for watching and see you next time